Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are tackling the Jaclyn Hill palette and as I said in my swatch video, I will be doing looks from every row that is in the palette. So today we are starting with this first row and I will be doing a look with that. Um, it seems a bit bridal, the colors are very neutral and um, very light. So I'm just going to wing it, let's see what I come up with. The first color I'll be going in with is called Silk Cream and it's the third shade in the palette. It is a satin, it's not a matte, but um, yeah, I'll be putting that in my crease with a Morphe E27 brush. And just buffing that into my crease. I have done my foundation and my brows off camera because I want to do a foundation routine as well as a eyebrow routine or how I do my eyebrows or whatever you ever want to call it. So that's why I did that off camera. So look out for those videos coming soon. The next shade I'll be going in with is MFEO and it's the one a bit darker than Silk Cream. I'll also be buffing that into my crease. Just lightly darkening it up. Well, as dark as it can, because this is like the darkest shade in the first row. So I'm really just buffing these two colors together and buffing them out just to create like a very smooth, I want to say transition, but it's, it's extremely light. There's a bit of fallout, but other than that, these shades are very blendable. Next, I'm going to use a bit of a more smaller blending brush, a bit, bit more precise. And this is a Morphe M518. This is a very nice brush for the crease. And I'm just taking that MFEO and just focusing it a bit on the crease more. In the corner and then a bit in the crease just to darken it up a bit. So I'm just layering that same color over and over just to get a bit more definition in this crease. Just to see if I can make it a bit darker. Just wiping away that fallout. And then just taking the bigger blending brush and just buffing out those edges. Like so. I'm also going to sweep Silk Cream under my um, lower lash line. Just for a bit of color there. And then going in a bit tighter with MFEO.
The next one I'll be using is in light, and that is the first color here. The first one here. And in light, I will just be putting on, see, the brow bone. It's way more pigmented than I thought. <laughs> Just blending those two colors together that I don't have a harsh highlight. I think that's fine. Then I'm going to use that same brush and then use Beam, which is the second color, and put that in my inner corner. Beam is a bit more yellow based than what In Light is. In Light's a bit more pinky. Let's just pop that right in there. And I'm just tapping it on. It seems like there's a bit more color payoff when you tap it in. So that's what I'm doing. Just to create that brightness in the inner corner. So next, there are three very shimmery shades here. And I kind of want to use all three of them because it's you, you can't use the whole row and not use just one. I want to use all three. So maybe I'll do these two I'll mix together and put them in the middle of the lid and then this one I'll put a bit to the side. Let's just see. These two are shimmers and this one is a duochrome. So let's start with these two. Maybe mix them together and put them on the lid and then this one in the middle. So I'm going to use a dense synthetic brush and I'll be mixing Faint, Faint and Little Lady together see where we end up so I'm just dipping it in the one and then dipping it in the other tapping off the excess and let's put it in the there I'm purposely doing it on a brush because I know there won't be that much of a color payoff than what I am with a ring finger so I just wanted a light sparkle and then with a duo chrome, um, this one, ooh, this one in the middle, sissy, I'll use my finger. So next I'll be using Sissy, which is the duochrome in this um, row. So it'll be this beautiful coppery rose gold color. And I'm going to use it on my ring finger and then just put it like in the center, but more to the outer part of my lid with my ring finger. Let's see how this goes. That is just stunning. I'm just going to take this brush that I used for the inner corner and just kind of blend everything together slightly. Let's see what this does. Okay, so I'm going to drag it a bit to the outer corner now. Just by tapping and sweeping and seeing what works best. There's quite a bit of fallout with this shade. I think I'll have rose gold cheeks by the end of this video. But it is looking amazingly. Just going to blend these edges. 
see where we end up it's very soft very bridal as I said at the beginning okay so I think I like it as is I don't want to add anything it's very neutral I think when I put on my mascara and lashes I'm not doing a winged liner I feel it's a very light and fresh look so I'll add white eyeliner to my waterline and then um, lashes obviously so let's see first I'll be curling my eyelashes Then I'm going to add a few coats of mascara. I'm using the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. This is the green tube. Matches my nails. Just a light coat at the top. I like putting on my eyelashes, my false eyelashes, um, before I put on mascara that way I can see where my lash line is exactly and then afterwards I'll just put a light coat on the lashes I'm using I have used these before so these are the Allure I don't know if you can see them the Allure 117s these are my absolute favorite lashes See what a difference this makes? I love these lashes. I use them on all my brides, all my matric farewells. This is the lash that I use. Makes a huge difference. And there you have the lashes. Okay. Next step is I'll be doing mascara on my bottom lashes and then also the white eyeliner. And the white eyeliner I'm using is this one from Catrice. It's the Cajol Pencil in 04 White. Very affordable and it works like a bomb. What a difference it makes. Okay, and then lastly, I'll be doing my lips. The lip liner I'm using is the Essence Ultra Last Lip Ultra Last Lip Liner Smooth, Gliding and Waterproof. This stuff sticks the whole day. I put this on in the morning before I go to work and then when I come home I still have this on my lips. And this is in the shade 02 02 Light something dust brick I think it's brick dust. So I'll just be lining my lips with this and then to fill it in or just to top it off I'll be using the Essence Matte 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 Long lasting lip gloss in, 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 I can't remember, the shade is off, well it's the nudie brown one. So this is the final look. I like it a lot. It is very subtle. 
um, but still it's very sparkly it's perfect for a bridal look I really love it the lashes add a bit more drama and the white eyeliner makes you look very awake the brick colored um, lipstick I think it complements the um, duochrome shade sissy that I put on my lids and yo, yeah, this is then the first look with the first row and this is also the first video for this series so I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something. Please like and subscribe if you aren't already. I've put the link right here. This, my little face would be here. And then you can just subscribe. And then also another video on this side if you haven't watched that already. Thank you so much for watching and please come again. See you soon.